فاسألوا أهل الذكر إن كنتم لا تعلمون السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على حبيبنا الرسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم In Surah Al-Kahf, Ayah number 49, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَوُضِعَ الْكِتَابُ فَتَرَى الْمُجْرِمِينَ مُشْفِقِينَ مِمَّا فِيهِ وَيَقُولُونَ يَا وَيْلَتَنَا يَا وَيْلَتَنَا مَا لِهَذَا الْكِتَابِ لَا يُغَادِرُ صَغِيرَةً وَلَا كَبِيرَةً إِلَّا أَحْصَاهَا وَوَجَدُوا مَا عَمِلُوا حَاضِرَةً وَلَا يَظْلِمُ رَبُّكَ أَحَدًا Allah Azza wa Jal here is painting the scene of the disbeliever, the wicked, evil person on the Day of Judgment when their book of deeds is presented to them. Their book of deeds will be placed in front of them, opened up. They will be extremely terrified and full of fear. And they will say, Ya waylatana. Oh, how a destruction has befallen us. Ma li al kitab. What is this book in front of us? La yugadiru sagiratan wala kabira. It hasn't left out anything small or big. Illa ahsaha, except that it is recorded every detail and counted it as pebbles are counted. Nothing is left out. Their whole life story from beginning to end is presented in front of them. And everything that they did in this life is presented before them. Everything they did intentionally or unintentionally their whole story is presented in front of them all the bad decisions they made in this world is presented before them and Allah does not oppress or wrong anyone in any way subhanallah we've been given free will and if anybody commits a sin it's on them it's not Something that Allah will punish you for if you didn't do it yourself. It is a choice that you make. You have the free will to choose from right and wrong. And these people lived a life full of sin and made wrong choices and are finally facing accountability. Their story ends on the day of judgment and everything will be presented before them. In this ayah, when Allah talks about what the disbelievers and the evil, wicked people will say on that day, they will say, ma, ma li al kitab? What is this book? The normal construction here is that the lamb in this ayah would be attached to the word that follows. Ma li al kitab? The lamb here normally is attached in writing. But for some reason, it's not in this ayah. For a rhetorical benefit, this is why it's not attached. And what does this signify? What does this mean here? What we can take away from this lamb being separated from the word after it in, in this context of someone's book of deeds being presented to them and then being so scared about being called out for everything they did and all the evil they did in their lives. This shows us the separation between the lamb and the word after it. Hada shows us that this person wishes that they could separate from their book, separate from the deeds, the evil, wicked deeds they did in this life, and that they would give anything to get out of it an earth full of gold they would give in ransom to get out of the situation that they're in. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would never accept that from them, even if they could. So this is what we take away from just the writing in this ayah of the Qur'an. Just because this alam is not attached to the word after, it's not a regular thing that occurs in Arabic. So we have to look into the deeper meaning behind it and investigate the context that it appears in. And the context 
is one of fear and terror on the day of judgment. And this person, this evil, wicked person, wants to distance themselves away from their deeds. Allahu Akbar. Look at the beautiful meanings we're able to extract from just the script of the Qur'an. Allahu Akbar. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.